Welcome back savages to another video. In this video we're going to do a little experiment and the experiment is to see if different types of antennas makes a difference to the HNT rewards you get from a helium miner. So the first experiment is going to be using the standard stock 3 dbi antenna that you get with the link stop miner. So what I'm going to do is run that for seven days and just see what the rewards are like. So experiment number two, this time it's going to be the larger 6.5 dbi antenna. This is going to be connected to an LMR 400 cable going to the back of the helium miner. So just like the previous experiment, we'll leave this connected for seven days just to see how it performs. And finally, the last experiment I'm going to do is to have both antennas connected to the miner at the same time. So what I've got is a splitter cable here. So one end, if we follow this all the way around, connects to the 3 dBi antenna. And then the second strand will go to the LMR 400, which goes to the 6.5 dBi antenna. So I just want to see whether having two different antennas connected to the same box will make any difference. So again, like the other experiments, I'm going to be leaving this connected up for the seven days as well. And then we'll come back, reconvene, and just have a look at the results from the three different types of setups to see if antennas or combinations of antennas makes any difference to the HNT received. Let's go. Okay, so it's been about three weeks since we started the experiment and the results are in. So first off, let's start with the stock antenna, which comes with a link stock miner, which is 3 dBi. So average over the seven days was 0 0.036 HNT, and that was a total of 0 0.2 HNT over the full week. The following week, we went with a 6.5 dBi antenna. And again, we ran it for the seven days, and that was given an average of 0 0.1 HNT, with a total of 0 0.70 HNT. As you can see with the 6.5 dBi antenna, it gave back almost three times as many rewards in HNT over the course of the week. So last but not least, the experiment that I was really interested in seeing was, what would happen if you had a combination of both the 3 dBi and the 6.5 dBi antenna connected to the same miner. And here we go. So there we go. So the average over the week was 0 0.19 HNT. So it was almost double what was the 6.5. And overall, over the course of the week, we got a total of 1.34 HNT. It's almost double the reward of the 6.5. And you can see it's almost six, seven times as much as just the stock 3 dbi antenna obviously this depends on your location the number of witnesses that you have around you in beacons and obviously whether you've got it mounted internally or externally for this experiment i only mounted the antennas internally just to get an idea of how it works so it might be a different result if it was outside so there you go savages i just wanted to do an experiment to see the effects of having uh, different types of antennas and then combining antennas to see what the effect would be on the different types of HNT rewards. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, like, and I'll see you savages on the next one.